Good morning, friends. It gives me immense pleasure to be here again for my course, Project Based Learning. Today, I am going to talk about the structure of Project Based Learning. I am Dr. Vaidhi Duvedi, Professor from Department of Aeronautical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad, India. Today's topic, I am going to cover about Project Based Learning, the structure of Project Based Learning, elements of project based learning, student voice and the choice, characteristics of project based learning, roles, advantages of project based learning, shortcomings of project based learning. So these are my topics which I am going to discuss in my this lecture. I will start with the some prominent personality which have talked about some ideas that is from the Gautam Buddha, an idea that is developed and put into action is more important than idea that exists only as an idea. So the meaning of this quote is that whenever you have any idea and everyone will have a lot of ideas in their brain, so many ideas are running, but this idea which you have in your brain, whether you are able to put into action whether you are, your idea is going to be applied for somewhere or not, these things has to be discussed and this has to be understood. So here I am going to discuss about introduction uh, about this. So, so what is the project based learning is an innovative model for learning, a new technique in which student and uh, faculty as well as all the group of the student will interact and they will formulate, they will find out the problem, they will try to solve the problem in a real world issues. So PBL is the innovative method for students learning to find solution for the real world problem. So in this, the student will find the problem of the society, problem of the community, problem of the uh, any field and they will try to find the solution by helping each other. So that is the objective of this project based learning. Here we should also go about the learning levels. We should know about what is the learning levels. So here we have the six level of the learning starting from the remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating and the creating. So this last level that is the remembering, this it consists of recalling relevant knowledge from long term memories. So, which you have memorized, these memorized memory you are able to rec recall it and or you are able to write it on the sheets. Next level is the understanding, making sense of the materials you may, you may have learned. So, whatever you have memorized, whether you are you are able to make in your own language or in your own thought, that is called the understanding. And the applying applying is use the knowledge gained in new ways. So whatever you remember and understand, whether you are able to apply in the new domain, in the new area, then it is called the applying. Analyzing, breaking the concept into parts and understanding how each part is related to one another. So after applying whatever result you have got, whether you are able to analyze or not. So that is called the analyzing. And next one is evaluating, making judgment based on a set of guidelines. So these are the evaluating. Last is the creating, putting information together in an innovative ways. So this is called the creative. Now I will go for the project based learning is some introduction. Project based learning is a teaching method in which students gain knowledge and skills by working for an extended period of time to investigate and respond to an engaging and complex questions, problems or the challenges. So in this extended period of time, if you are in the school or if you are in the college, that you have to be there 
out of that how much you are involving yourself engaging yourself for a complex questions and their questions are the problems and what are the challenge which you you are facing that you are able to discuss or not so project based learning is a student centered pedagogy that involves a dynamic classroom approach in which students acquire a deeper knowledge through active exploration of real world challenge and problems so in this what happened that you students this is a new teaching technique project based learning in that a dynamic classrooms approach is not only sitting and learning and listening in classroom itself students have to interact with each other students interact with the group beyond the group beyond the room beyond the section even in interdisciplinary and inter school and inter college state level and international level they have to interact and they have to acquire a deep knowledge by doing so active exploration of real world challenges and the problem they have to face and they have to solve the problem it is a style of active learning and inquiry based learning so it is active and inquiry based learning pbl contrast with paper based wrote memorizations or teacher led instructions that simply presents established facts or portrays a smooth path to knowledge by instead posing questions problems or the scenario so in this what happens that it is contrast to the conventional paper based learning in that only you will memorized or you will you will get some instructions and you have to follow that but in this what happens that the student will pose the questions and these questions will be a real world problem this will be facing by some of the people in the society and those problems whether you are able to solve or not so different scenarios and different problems you shouldn't have to see and they have to feel and they have to generate then only this will be counted pbl integrates knowing and doing so in this what happens you should have to know and after knowing the problem they have to do and find the solution you should learn knowledge and elements of the core curriculum but also apply what they know to solve authentic problems and produce results that matters okay so what happened that they have to gain the knowledge during class and by the uh, syllabus and the curriculum but also apply what they know to solve authentic problems and produce result that matters for them so a problem solving skill problem solving doesn't mean the numerical solving or oh, that is because i have seen that students feel that if they are able to solve the numerical means they are able to solve the problems problems means the real world problem which any society community or any village country or uh, districts they are facing any of the problem if you are able to solve then you can say that you you are able to solve the problem pbl refocuses education on the students not the curriculum so in this what happens the teacher will not only try to complete the syllabus they have to do the education based on the students this cannot be taught out of a textbook but must be activated through experience so this learning is not from the textbook by the virtue of the experience of the teacher and the faculty and the society even students those who are facing some issues in their surroundings they have to experience thus those problems and how these problems can be solved you may remember that in my some some of my previous classes i have explained about the uh, how the student have solved the problem a very uh, primary level students have solved the problem for the salamanders and how this they have made a small tunnel so that this salamanders are not coming on top of the road and because in the traffic uh, the cars are moving and the all salamanders are dying 
and this uh, salamanders are very precious species so we we should not allow to die them so they have designed a very nice tunnel in that they can go very nicely and there will not be any accident and they are safe to travel so like this uh, small projects we can also do and uh, same way uh, you all can do some new things like um, uh, nowadays in india lot of uh, electric vehicles or non conventional energy vehicles we can design some new source and how they can reduce the fuel consumption also how they can use the non petroleum product so that the vehicles can run without uh, fossil fuel like this uh, some projects you can take also i have seen some issues like uh, street dogs sometimes they met with accident and there are some legs and some uh, feet uh, they are injured and uh, they are very much having lot of problems they are not able to walk they are walking in three legs sometimes only in two, in two legs so how we can solve this type of problem uh, okay so uh, this type of thing also we can think not only for human we should also see for every living being let it be plants trees or any type of creature we should help them we should try that they are living uh, in a very nice way so we should try to focus on those type of things not only the textbook material so in this structure of the pbl project based learning so in this project based learning emphasizes long term interdisciplinary and student centered learning activities so it is a long term and interdisciplinary it doesn't mean i am aeronautical or civil or any engineering science uh, commerce uh, biology or microbiology or geology all have to work in a once common cause because we are staying in the society in the community we all face the same issues so we should try to understand those issue and by the help of interdisciplinary people different types of people different types of um, domain uh, should sit should together and make a simple solution for any activity so it should be interdisciplinary and student centered learning activities so it should not that only teacher should give the problem the students should find out the problem and they should try to solve the problem only here teacher is a guide teacher is a mentor how this they can do uh, teacher can guide them how to start your project in my next class i am going to discuss about this steps so project based instructions differs from traditional inquiry by its emphasis on students collaborative or individual artifact constructions to represent what is being learned project based learning also gives students the opportunity to explore problems and challenges that have real world applications increasing the possibility of long term retention of skills and concepts so these things uh, is a part of the our pbl structure we should formulate our things in this way elements of the project based learning key knowledge understanding and success skills so first thing elements they should have sufficient knowledge on the topic they should be able to understand and also they have some skills to implement the project the project is focused on students learning goals including standards based content and skill such as critical thinking problem solving collaborations and self management challenging problems are the questions the project is framed by a meaningful problem to solve or questions to answer at the appropriate level of the challenge sustained inquiry students engage in a rigorous extended process of asking questions finding resources and applying information so we should have rigorous practice in class not only just teaching the mathematical equations and solving the equations deriving the equations we should also so that where these equations can be used in the real world problem like if you see the thermodynamics 
we teach only about the steam about the engines about this thing but how these things can be useful for a human or a tree if the high temperature is there a small planet how plant how they can be saved from the high temperature during fever how you can make sure that fever is not crossing 104 degree celsius fahrenheit so we, these all things if you know the basics of the anything these basics can be used and this can be used for anywhere okay so that thing we should try to make sure then authenticity the project feature real world context task and tools quality standards or impact or speaks to students personal concerns interest and issues in their lives student voice and choice students make some decision about the project including how they work and what they create reflection students and teachers reflect on learning the effectiveness of their inquiry and project activities the quality of student work obstacle and how to overcome them so students voice and the choice means the thought of the student has to be understood and their choice has to be given not it, it should not be the forceful it should be a real democratic way that students voice whatever they are raising the question and their choice to be considered then only st student will have the interest on the topic otherwise they will feel very much boring and it will not give a good result anything which we do by ourselves in a good mood in a good interest it will give a very positive result if anything is by forceful after some times the interest will go and the result may be uh, quite disastrous so here students make some decision about the project including how they work and what they create so how they will be working and what they are going to make it i have shown you one triangle at the top we have the create so objective of this project based learning from here at the bottom you should reach to the top here so that is your cognitive level the objective of any institute or the faculty has to make sure that those who are in this level they should reach to this level of the learning and this project based learning gives a very good thought on this process it gives a way how to reach from bottom to the top of the knowledge level in this we have the first one is the reflection so what is the meaning of reflection in this students and teachers reflect on learning the effectiveness of their inquiry and the project activities the quality of student work obstacle and how to overcome them so in this reflection if you see in the student and teacher reflect on the learning they are focused on the learning and the, the effectiveness of their inquiry the inquiry should be effectiveness it should not be useless project activities then quality of student work quality of the student student work i have discussed in my previous class quality is very important anything if you do a very nice way a very uh, systematic way whether you get a good result or not but if you start making your project very systematic very uh, nicely arranged in a step by step and whatever obstacle or any hindrance and how to overcome these hindrances you will learn you may not get the your desired result sometimes but during the process of project you will learn that why you have not got this result next time you will try and you will find out that you will not repeat the mistake which you have done earlier and you will try to solve these issues critic and the revision very much essential that your work should be discussed with your batch your group followed by different groups and the critics 
and the religions are very very important in now and then a given a specified duration the presentation of your work should be there and the critics from your batch from other things to be taken passed away and this has to be implemented revision of the work is also very very important you should give receive and use feedback to improve their process and the product so if this i have to give their own view they should also take from others and also use feedback to improve their process and the products so whatever process and the product you are making you should try to improve by critics and the revision public product you should make their project work public by explaining displaying and are presenting it to people beyond the classroom that is also very very important whatever project you are doing try to explain to number of people display your project in some expo or some events in the college or outside of the college and presenting to the people beyond the classroom not only your teacher or your hod or your uh, classmates it should be represented to the whole college or whole university level or in the district level or in the state level or you upload your project on a website online you have to then people will see and they will give the comment it may be good or bad but your work has to be displayed in all the forum whatever is available this is the called the students voice and the choice your voice should be heard from each and every one next uh, characteristics of project based learning in this it is organized around an open ended driving question or the challenge so your first thing is your driving question question should be very very open ended and it should be arranged in a very nice way it may be your challenge anything you want to solve that is called the challenge and whether it is properly organized or not it should not be very vague it should be in the real uh, scenario pbl creates a need to know essential content and skills pbl creates a need to know essential contents and skills it requires inquiry to learn or create something new it requires inquiry to learn and or create something new so in this you will inquire and by this inquiry you will learn and how to create these all things pbl inquires critical thinking problem solving collaborations and various form of communication often known as a 21st century skills so you know that till now we used to just come to the classes we teach the students listen there will be a mid exams then se exams there will be live exams and your semester will end and your years will end and you after four years you are going to get the degree but now it is not the focus of only getting the degree it is focus is to obtain the necessary skills those skills are called the 21st century skills in this it is coming the critical thinking problem solving collaboration and various form of the communication these are few 21st century skills critical thinking means you should have some new thought of any thing like if you see newton's law so you can do the analysis of the newton's law in your way not what is written and also problem solving you should also try to find out the problem and you should try to solve the problem if you are able to do then only and also collaboration not only individual your team should work if you have four member every team member has to work as per its ability also you should try to work with other 
group of your class and also from other branches. It is called the multidisciplinary collaboration. College to college, from national to international, district to state level, state to country level, like this collaboration has to be developed. In this, the institute, the faculty will help you people to make the collaboration and by th th their personal links, they can form the team and they can develop this type of activities. And also the communication skill, it is very, very important how effectively you are able to communicate and by your communication, how others are feeling and how much they are able to get from your communication work. It allows some degree of student voice and the choice. So in this what happened, your voice is heard and your choice is understood and accordingly your choice you have to work further. PBL incorporates feedback and the revision. Just now the before slide also I have discussed that uh, in that uh, feedback and the revision and uh, your this uh, critics to be taken very positively, not as a uh, your insult. You take it as a positive and try to work on that, that next time whatever drawbacks are there, you should try to develop and try to complete it. PBL results in a publicly presented product or the performance. So the results what you have got from your work, it should be publicly in a exhibition or in a forum or in a, a very nice uh, platform you have to present your product on its performance and how this can be useful for the community, for the society, for the people of the country or internationally, you have to show to each and everyone. Roles. In this student's role and the teacher's role, because the student and the teacher, they form the a community and in this group. So, what is the role of the students? The student determines their project, encouraged to take full responsibility for their learning. This makes PBL a constructivist learning methods together, students work together. So that is the uh, good thing for this, that students work together. Use technology to communicate actively with teacher and peers, others. So you should also use the technology, your softwares, your experimental tools, whatever is available to communicate actively with teachers and the peers. So like for the communication nowadays, we have Zoom. Everyone has got now Zoom and all. Previously, nobody was aware after this Corona, all have learned how to be in your home and learn the things. So a very good thing have come up now everywhere. If you see the television, Nowadays, you need not to go one place to another place. All your uh, spokesperson, they are in home, they are in their car. From there, they are replying the question. So how nicely, if there is a bad thing for the corona, so many things would have happened. So like this, your problem was there as a corona. We have solved the problem. Every country has solved. India is one of the very great country who has handled this situation very nicely and develop and we are also progressing best in the world as of now after post corona activities. So our each and every government plus every individual, every institute, colleges, all the organizations are uh, have worked and every students also have worked. So much work is done being in home. So this is also a, a good project. You can do the survey on this, how much benefit people have got post-COVID uh, scenario. So this technology for the uh, communicating activities with the teacher and the peers and others. The student is make choices, student makes the choices, student makes choices on obtaining, displaying or manipulating information. They have the choices to obtain, display and manipulate the information which they have got. So what is the role of the teacher? This is also very important. But here 
the teacher as a mentor or a facilitator. They will just guide them. Okay, develop atmosphere of shared responsibility. They should also develop that every students, they should share the responsibility. Not only one will work. Okay, I have seen in our project, only one student will work, remaining two or three, they will be just not doing anything. And so it is. it should not be like this. Everyone has got the responsibility and they have to decide by their own. Teacher is just in between to, to help them. But what work who will do that your batch has to decide, not the teacher. Regulate a student success goals, keeping deep understanding of concept. So regulate a student success, how much they are progressing, their goals, keeping the understanding of the concept. Accountable to goals of students through feedback and assessment, evaluate finished product of the student. So at the final teacher has to evaluate that what the output you have got and how much it is useful. Advantage of the PBL. So more important than learning content, students need to learn to work in a community, thereby taking on social responsibilities. So because here students are working in a community, they will go to the field, they will go to the some areas where this problem is there and they will know social responsibilities. How the socially people are connected, how they can solve the uh, problem of the community and the society. When a student take responsibility or the ownership for their learning, their self-esteem increases. So this is increasing because they take the responsibility and ownership of the work for their learning and their self-esteem increases. A very much confidence is increasing from inside. It also helps to create better work habits and attitude towards learning. So it creates a better work habits and also attitude towards the learning. So the learning attitude slowly, slowly it will increase and students will enjoy the work. Although students do work in groups, they also become more independent. So they become more independent. They are not dependent on anyone because they have thought the project, they have also executed, they have also the plan and they all have got the result. This result may not be very good, but surely they have got some feeling that it is a attitude is increased, better habits will increase and they are become quite independent <coughs> because they are receiving little instruction from the teacher. So because every time otherwise teacher will give every time you do like this, you do like this, they will feel what is this? So their own esteem, self-esteem will increase by this. Students also learn skills that are essential in higher education. So slowly, slowly the students will learn and this will be very good for the, the higher ed education and for going for the industry or for the company. The student learn more than just finding answers and expand their mind. Not only answer one plus one is equal to two. So how do you learn? Nothing. But if they apply something new in that, apply the mind and some new innovations in that, if they are able to find out, they feel very happy. Find answer to question by critical thinking. So they will increase their critical thinking or thinking level of the students has to be increased. So these are the advantages. But we have also some disadvantage also that we have to keep in mind. So what are the disadvantages or the shortcomings of the project based learning? Unfocused and underdeveloped lessons can result in the wasting of precious class time. So that is very, very focused. Focus should be there. If it is unfocused and underdeveloped lessons, 
then this is going to be disaster and waste of time. Lecture style instruction can convey the same knowledge in less class time. So, if same small things can be discussed in the class, that work should not be undertaken. So, that we have to see that it should be something new. Instruction instructor can be misled into thinking that as long as a student is engaged and doing, they are learning. So, in this misled by the teacher. Teacher may think that they are doing very good, but in fact they are not doing good. So they are, teacher may think they are very much doing, they are engaging, they are doing, they are learning, but however, they are not producing the result. So after four months or three months, they come with nil result, then this is not good. So it is also a drawback for this system. If the project does not remain on task and content driven, the student will not be successful in learning the material. So if the project does not remain on task and content driven, so whatever task is given, if they should focus on that one, not, they should not deviate from that. The student will not be successful in learning the material. So they are going to be in disaster failure. Complex projects need to be on track while attending a student's individual learning needs. So, we should not be very complex. It should be within the scope of the students, their level of thinking. We should be able to provide such type of thinking only. When students work in group, some will sit back and let the others do all the work. So, this is also a drawback that only Few people will work, others will not do, they will sit back, they will enjoy, they will do some chit chatting, they will not work at all. So like this work, we have to find out and try to solve this type of work. We, should, we can give some assignment also for the students. You just need to submit abstract of the given project on or before given date by the faculty. You just literature survey report within minimum 10 research email to this I have given here. In the next topic, I am going to discuss about the role of language and the subject teachers, project based learning and the students, meetings and the research, designing a problem, getting organized meeting and keeping records of the meeting, getting started, what is our schedule and between meeting one and two. So there will be a number of steps. So 50% I will be covering in my next and the 50 into next. So in two classes, I will be able to complete. These are the references which I have taken. Any questions you are welcome to ask in my, you can send to my email ydduvedi at the rate gmail.com. Thank you very much for joining the, this class. Please be tuned for my next class. Hope you have enjoyed. Uh, thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.